What is good? This is Silver Hyena. Welcome back to the channel. And for today's video, I have an unboxing that I am super excited about. You see, I, um, I had a moment of weakness while browsing Amazon one evening and, um, uh, hang on, yeah, this box, it's not ginormous, but it is on the heavy side. So, I would like to share with you all of the wonderful, wonderful art supplies that I had picked up. Oops, there we go, just throwing things off my desk as per usual. I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll pick that up later. Anyways, the real stars of the channel, my scissors. Well, I guess it's just the star. Time to open up this bad boy. Mm. Close the scissors first, then put it down. Trying to open this up without sending more of my stuff all over the place. Ah. Ooh, oh my. Okay, here, here, let me just show you this. It's really, really heavy at the particular angle I'm trying to hold it. Oh, that, that explains a lot. I didn't get all the tape. Remember, tape is the enemy. Although I suppose it helped keep my package safe in the mail. It's glorious. Okay. Without knocking my tripod over. Oh, oh my. Uh, give me a minute. Um, I'm just gonna pause this for a minute, take everything out of the box, and get the box out of here because uh, this is becoming really tricky. Uh, hang on. Whoa! <sighs> okay, there we are. And those of you familiar with my Pokemon card openings ought to know what's coming next. Yeet that sucker! We ain't got time for that. But what we do have time for are the art supplies. Okay, first of all, oh, I should probably show you the label. Some Arteza Premium Watercolor Sketchbooks. This is a pack of three spiral bound hardcover. So I think I'm good on watercolor paper for a while. I have not used the Arteza brand before. At least of the watercolor. I've used Arteza products before, but I've not used their watercolor paper before. So I am really, really, really curious to see how well it works and how well it compares to some of the watercolor papers that I have used. So there's that. First item up. I've got this. It's branded Arteza, but honestly, I don't even remember what it is. So, um... It's going to be just as much of a surprise as it is. Uh, it, 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 bleh. I can't talk. It's, it is going to be just as much of a surprise to you as it is to me. Of course, I could always just go and check my email, but where's the fun in that? I want to be surprised. You know, if I could ever get the tape off. There we are. Okay. Ooh. It's Arteza. Gosh, I hope so. Oh, these are the colored pencils. Yay! Ooh, I hit my TV there. Um, I'll have to check on that later. And oh my god. Why? Why did they have to put a snail on the tin? Oh my gosh, I usually love these beautiful tins like this. I really, really, really wanted to try Arteza colored pencils, and they had to ruin the tin by putting a snail on the front. <laughs> Give me a moment while I have a nervous breakdown, and then we'll get back to the rest of the unboxing. Uh, uh. 
Okay, so for those of you that are unaware, I cannot stand slugs or snails. They are just so repulsive to me. I, I just cannot stand them. And now I've got this snail just, okay, I've got to flip that over. <laughs> well, that's going to make that review awkward. Um, uh, let's uh, carry on with something uh uh, something else. Um, yeah, yeah, so much for, oh, I want to be surprised. I want to be surprised. Boy, was I surprised. <laughs> Anyways, these are Ohuhu brand. See? Ohuhu, which, as you well know, I love them to bits. And I really, really, really wanted to try more watercolor. The, not the, the water brushes, the brushes that you put the water in and you squeeze them. This, this is a whole set of them, different sizes, including, finally, some flat brushes. I really, really, really wanted some flat brushes. So, really looking forward to finally using some of those. Alright, next step. Oh, I think these are the metallic markers that I got to use with that wonderful, wonderful black sketchbook paper. Yes! And there I go again. I should really stop doing that. But look at these. Oh my gosh, the package is so pretty. These are metallic. Oh, apparently one pen is two colors here. Let me just open these up real quick. Oh, oh my god. Oh, each individual pen is wrapped. Oh my gosh, that is fancy. Okay, so that, that'll definitely be really, really fun to go over. So, yeah. Oh my, I, well, it's like I'm looking forward to using every single thing in here. Of course, that's why I ordered it, because... It's, it, it's, uh, it's art supplies, and I love getting a hold of some art supplies that I just haven't had before. All right, next up, Artsy Glitter Solid, yeah, yeah, Glitter Solid Watercolor. Artsy, it's Artsy Fartsy. So let us, oh my, ooh, that is fancy. And it's like this box, this is a good sturdy box. Oh my gosh, this is like, ooh. Ooh, wow. So they ship it all nice and wrapped up. Oh, look at the color, it's that beautiful, beautiful teal. And the back of it, it's got a little ring so you can hold on to it. get my ring out of there. Uh, I need to get my finger out of the ring because it was a, yeah. So you've got your color sheet. Oh, and a thank you. You get a little thank you note. That is so sweet of them. Thank you for choosing Artsy. Thank you for purchasing Artsy products. We will do our best to ensure you have a better experience. If there are any problems with our products, please feel free to contact us at their email address, which I'm pretty sure that you saw. So, that's very nice. Oh, and they even include a bit of swatch sheets. Or, or is that is that watercolor paper for you to do your own swatching? Oh yeah, it is! Wow, I guessed right! Here, let me set that down a minute. So that is really nice that they include the one that's just printed and then they also include another one to do yourself, which is you always want to swatch out your art supplies. Whenever you get new art supplies, always, always, always swatch those bad boys out. Anyways, this also comes with another one of those aqua brushes that I really, really enjoy using. So it comes with those and look Oh boy, that is both simultaneously gorgeous and it makes it feel ritzy 
And at the same time, it's gonna feel like a pain in the butt because they are all individually wrapped up. <laughs> so, yeah, th this, it, it's like my first impression is that th these glitter watercolors, these just feel so glamorous. And why isn't this, did I close it the wrong way? Why isn't it? Stop doing that. There we go. So I'll just package these up separate. And I'm going to wrap it back up just because it felt so nice. I mean, like, that was just, that that was glitzy. I, I, I like that. I mean, like, glitzy packaging for some glitzy paints. Why not? Anyways, we're getting down getting down to the last two. I finally got some Arteza watercolor pans. I have heard good things about these, so I really, really want to try them out for myself. Those of you that have watched my some of my watercolor content know that I am a sucker for Daniel Smith. I want to see how these compare. Oh, so of course we've got tape. Let's just, there we go. One thing about Arteza, they certainly have uh, nice boxes. They're nice, sturdy, they're, it's not flimsy or anything like that. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Look at that. It's nicely packaged and the back of the palette, it's got the little finger ring on there. It's nicely wrapped. So here. I'm going to destroy the packaging. Ah. Ooh, wow. Like, it might just be the five-year-old in me talking, but all I can think is just, ooh, wow, think of all the stickers you can put on that. And like, you know, customize it. Oh wow, that is a lot of mixing space. Look at that. That is nice. Oh, and it also comes with an Arteza brand water brush, which is really, really cool. And um, once again, it feels super fancy, super nice, uh, but at the same time also a pain in the butt because they are all individually wrapped. Like fine chocolates, except don't eat these, don't eat these. So, uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, like, I'm looking forward to trying all of these out. Yes, even the stuff in the snail's tin. Yeah, yeah, the stuff in the snail tin. Yeah, yeah, they're colored pencils. In fact, uh, probably when I'm done revealing the last goodie, I'll uh, take the plastic off of that tin and um, and uh, show show off the goodies inside. And last but not least, I have been meaning to get myself a nice set of watercolor pencils. I, I had used the Master's Touch watercolor pencils before, which, well, those were they they were okay. They were also lacking in several fields, so. I wanted to get a nice, versatile set, and uh, that came up in my recommendations, so I pounced on it. I have heard nothing but good things about Derwent before, so, oh boy. Well, they got a little uh, jumbled up in transit, but overall they do look very, very nice. And I've also got a set of Derwent Inktense pencils that I need to try out, too. So, gosh, I don't have a thing to do. Okay, okay. So, ugh, here we go. Snail tin. Ugh. But, hopefully the pencils will be more than worth it.
Okay, so it's like the tin, it has a very nice texture. And, oh my god, I feel like I'm touching it. Oh, oh, it's actually got hinged. It's got a little hinge there. It's not like my Prismacolor. Oh, and... Oh. And so there you go, the inside. Got a color chart. Oh boy, oh boy, I hope I didn't break it. <laughs> uh, give me a sec. Okay, so upon further inspection, I'm wondering if this tin it just kind of came a little bit broken. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna worry too much about that, just be very, very gentle with it. But I love the presentation of these colored pencils. They just look super, super nice. And there's a there's a, another tray in there. I just don't want to try to pull them all out at once since, well, everything is kind of crowded on my little table right now. But look at that. They, these just look really, really nice. I love the way they look. And th there's even a light fastness chart in the, the lid of the tin, which is really, really cool. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta put the thingy, this, eh, gotta put that back in there. Alrighty, so that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a comment a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already right now that is the absolute best way to help this channel grow and it's free who doesn't like free who doesn't like free things have you ever used any of the art supplies that i have just shown if so again post post below i would love to hear what you guys have to say your experiences with these items and is there any of these supplies that you would like to see me try out first if so, again, you know what to do. Post. Post. I, I really do try to respond to you guys whenever you do post. So please, post away. I want to know. Anyways, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!